Well, for the last 24 hours, we've had conservatives out there telling us that all of these bombs being delivered to high profile liberals in the United States are a false flag operation. The idea is that Democrats are sending these bombs to themselves or a group of Democrats is out there sending it to other Democrats in order to gain sympathy for the party ahead of the midterms and to paint the right wing as some kind of crazed, deadly uh, threat that needs to be voted out of office. That's the conspiracy theory being pushed by Republicans right now. Uh, this is a conspiracy theory that yesterday, as soon as reports of these bombs started coming out, over on Reddit, on the the Donald subreddit, uh, they began pushing this conspiracy almost immediately. Shortly after that, it was picked up by Fox News. They had guests on who suggest it. And then later in the day, we even had Fox News hosts, uh, including Lou Dobbs, who has a direct line into the president of the United States, saying that it's likely this was a false flag operation. George Soros, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, uh, just this morning, uh, Joe Biden, Robert De Niro, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Eric Holder. My apologies if I'm leaving anybody out, but the list seems to be growing by the hour at this point. This is insanity. And this is not as Mike Pence and Donald Trump and Ted Cruz, and even some Democrats said, this is not a both sides issue. This is domestic terrorism being carried out against current and former government officials, high profile donors, and even members of Hollywood at this point, who've spoken out against the president of the United States. This is an act of domestic terrorism. It's not because of the tone of the media. Oh, and CNN was also a target, John Brennan. Uh, and it's not because of them. It's not because of CNN as Donald Trump told us this morning, and as Sarah Huckabee Sanders repeated after Donald Trump said this, this is a uniquely Republican thing happening here. We have not seen any kind of level of violence or anger on the left as we have from the Republicans. Let's not forget that these people did kill someone a year ago, Heather Heyer in Charlottesville. They want to kill more people or at least they want to give us the impression that no liberals are safe. No Democrats are safe. They're going to come after anybody who dare say a bad word against the president. This is not a conspiracy. This is not liberals trying to bomb themselves. This is not George Soros funding these things. These are crazy people on the right who are going after anyone who has criticized Donald Trump. We have to stop with this both sides rhetoric. That is not what is happening here. The Republican right, the alt right, whatever the hell they want to call themselves today, they are being energized by the hateful language coming out of Donald Trump's mouth. And as we mentioned yesterday, this man's about to start doing two rallies per day as we get closer to the midterms. Imagine how much hate is going to come out and how much anger is going to be awoken in those angry Republicans. It's going to be a complete shit show. And I'm afraid there's not much we can do about it at this point. Hopefully we have intelligence agencies and the secret service looking into this and hopefully they catch these people before somebody gets seriously hurt or even worse. But as long as Donald Trump is out there and he's doing his hate filled rallies and people are still even last night at a rally chanting, lock her up. As long as that continues, these threats are going to continue. And the only way to defeat it is to get Donald Trump out of office. One of the sponsors for our content today is newsvoice.com. Newsvoice.com is a new news website that actually allows users to upvote stories, submit stories, and provide multiple sources for any story on there. It's truly a user-based news organization providing viewpoints left, right, center, and everything in between. And what's so important about this is that the corporate media, most media outlets in this country are controlled by only a handful 
of major corporations. Because of that, they don't report on many of the stories that actually matter to your daily life. Many of the kinds of stories that we cover here on Ring of Fire, you can also find on sites like newsvoice.com. They also have a free app for both iOS and Android devices, which you can download by going to newsvoice.com slash ROF. Again, this is a user supported site, fully democratized, ready for you to upvote stories, add what you can and provide as many sources as possible so that everyone can see different viewpoints, different sources and understand that this is what news was truly meant to be. Again, download the free iOS or Android app by going to newsvoice.com ROF.